Hello friends, how are you? It's Gloria Parra here again with another process video. This time for Simple Stories. I will be using their new fall collection, Acorn Lane. It's gorgeous. Look at those crisp colors. I love it. I'm in love with this collection. So I want to use it a little more. And this is the photo that I will be using. It is of me and my husband a couple years ago in Central Park, New York. We had, before kids, we had a little picnic there and we had so much fun. It was gorgeous to see New York in the fall. So I hadn't scrapped those photos and I thought this was a perfect collection to do so. So let's start, come with me. Okay friends, this is my idea. I have a white color vibe cardstock that has some polka dots. Not sure if you get to see it. And I've cut it at 11 by 11 and added some stitching in all the border, okay? I will use this, what is this one called? Autumn Vibes pattern paper as my background. And I want to add a very small border to this one, okay? I love the, the contrast it gives. I love adding double mats whenever possible. So I'll be adding, this is 11 by 11 inches and this will be just a little border there, okay? My idea is to create with leaves, um, like a half moon here of leaves falling out, okay? So I've chosen a couple of chip, chipboard leaves from my chipboard sticker that I have from this collection. And I've chosen my favorite leaves and fl flowers, but mainly leaves, okay? The idea is leaves falling all over my layout. Because that's the memory that I have from Central Park. The leaves were all falling, the, the floor was covered with leaves, and that's what I want to recreate in my layout. Okay, let's start. So, okay, if you prefer to gut the paper, go ahead to save some, some of the cardstock. I will be gutting the checkered, or I'm not sure, the plaid pattern paper, because I want to save some of, of that. I buy this Color Vibe cardstock in packs because I love them so much, so I have a lot of that one. But these ones, I want to gut. If you don't know what gutting means, I had no idea, I learned it from other scrapbookers and YouTubers. You go to your one inch mark, paper here, and you cut at one here, and you leave one inch at the bottom. And you do the same on all four sides, okay? So you will be saving all the center piece, all the center piece, and just having that little border that we want. And I usually do this when I don't have more of the pattern paper that I love, but whenever I can, I just use it entirely because <laughs> I have so much pattern paper that I prefer to create this the sturdy layout. But that's a that's an option that you have. So there you go. You will have that. But you have this big piece of paper for another project. Okay, so we have it there. We have our chipboard frame. This is a beautiful chipboard frame. I love the... I love that item in every Simple Stories collection. It is one of my favorites. Okay, so let's start arranging our layout here. Because, you know, I usually like place everything there. I have the, the idea and then I start filming. But that's, <laughs> that's what I'm basing my, my design here and that little thing that I put together before starting to film. Okay, so I have this one here. Let's arrange it. It never comes out as you as you first had it. I don't know what happens, but it never comes quite the same. Sometimes better and sometimes you liked it before. Much better. And then I have this one here. And you can layer all your leaves, all your fun elements. See, now I don't know where this one, this one came here and this one goes here. This one goes Here, so 
This is like putting a puzzle together, right? You just play with them and you go arranging everything where you most like it. I really love the chipboard leaves and those were the ones that inspired this this layout. I love I love how beautiful they are so I want them to be like falling and dancing all around my layout. Okay friends, I have two journaling spots, two options for my journaling spots. I have this little journaling ephemera that you can find in the journaling bits and pieces pack. That's one option there. Or I can have this one that it's from the cut apart. Okay, I would be turning that little fox upside down and tucking it in. So I like both of them. I think this one gives me the opportunity to add some embellishments down here. Okay, and I don't know, I like them both. So let's go at hearing our embellishments and see which one I like best. The Simple Stories collection is really gorgeous. I can't recommend it enough. I love all their collections. I'm a huge fan and I couldn't be happier to be part of their team. So check this collection out. It's gorgeous. You're gonna love it. You know what I was thinking with these leaves? That I could cut around it because I don't like that white space there. I could try that out. But maybe later. Okay, just let's finish this. But that's something that you can consider if you don't like a, something from your die cuts. You can always trim it. You can always alter them a little to be more of what you like, right? So if you're enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Okay. There we go. So that's it, I think. We're all now. With some texture and some fun dimension. These collection, you can find them. Well, if you have a local scrapbook store where you live, go and support them, please. I have a local scrapbook store, you know, here in Bolivia. It is called Paper Cloud. Nube de Papel, which means paper cloud in English. And yes, I have a scrapbook store. Well, it's not actually a scrapbook store. It's more of an arts and crafts that has a little scrapbook aisle. And well, it's my passion, so it started as a scrapbook store. But businesses change a little, and we now have other stuff. But if, well, if you have a local scrapbook store, support it. And don't forget, you can also find it online. Scrapbook.com has it, a cherry on top, and Scrapbook Generation, all those scrapbook stores. Okay, so I think that's it. Whenever I'm using my stickers, I like using a powder tool to de-stick it. Okay, this is baby powder, so you can use any baby powder you have. And then I can add foam there, and it won't stick down. So that's one possibility. Or maybe this one. Which one do I like? I think I like the other one better. Let's add some foam there. That little leaf wants to fly away. <laughs> Let's grab it and add some foam. So there we go. I love how it's turning. And now we can add, we have some, some beautiful phrases here. Okay, so I've made a little cluster with the word stickers from the sticker sheet and it says nuts for fall and nuts for being together <laughs> that's what I want to to transmit in this little cluster so I want to add that one there and let's add some foam adhesive to it so it 
it's not that flat, okay? There are tons of word stickers um, on this Simple Stories collections. I love them. They're really fun too to use on your layouts. You can always find something that goes with your theme and with your story. And now I have an idea. <laughs> I have a little idea. I think this side is missing something to balance all that's going here. So I cut a little a little tag. I'm not sure. A little die cut piece from the 3x4. Cut apart sheet. Okay. The same sheet where I cut my journaling piece, I cut this one. And I think that's gonna balance a little. And it says the little detail, so I like how it adds something there. And I love this. Let me see if you can see it. In the Robin's pack. In the Robin pack, you can find this saying that says autumn the year's last loveliest smile. And I love how that would look here. You know, like something very subtle, but down down there. I love it, okay? So, I'm gonna bring myself to do it. I hope my idea works. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love what that adds at the bottom. Okay, so that's it guys. Let's add some little enamel dots. I want to bring some some blue, I don't know, up here, down here. Okay friends, I have my enamel dots already in place. I chose the blue ones just to bring some more blue to my layout since I had some blues there, and the butterflies, and a couple places more, so I decided to bring some blue. And I also want to use this little give thanks tag that you can find at the sticker sheet, and I want to place it here, and that way we, we have a more balanced layout. So that's it. I just need to add my journaling and I hope you liked this layout and I hope you, if you want to recreate it, that you use this fantastic new Acre Lane collection by Simple Stories. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below, okay? Thank you very much for watching. This was Gloria Parra for Simple Stories. Bye-bye.